I think it's a tough position for a female to be in, especially if you want to have children and just having that desire, but not being able to was really difficult. And when, if you ask, go ahead, Social go ahead. media was the worst. Social yeah. media was the worst because you see friends that she grew up with, other people that she knew, mm -hmm. they're announcing their pregnancy, and that's all mm -hmm. she, she, that's what she wanted. She wanted to announce her pregnancy, I'm pregnant, and that's what, you yeah. know, and it just, I think it really stung. Yeah, it was always you know. a question of why. And I will say I never had a hard time going to baby showers. I never had a hard time, you know, with friends, people that I knew, you know, genuinely happy. I did have a hard time if I heard a story about, like, neglect or something like an emotional neglect or someone that just, you know, I felt like didn't deserve it. And I wondered why, why me? Why am I having such a hard time? I feel like we're great people and would make great parents. So I just didn't understand. And unfortunately, those neglect stories would come home because she'd watch me on TV and see a story that I'm covering <laughs> with someone who left two two-year-olds in a car or, and they died or something like that. And of course, it hit, hit home. It hit to the point where she didn't even want to watch anymore. You know, mm -hmm. it was just yeah. too much. So the other thing I had a hard time with was I was very quiet about what was happening because I just didn't think anyone would understand. My family has never had problems, you know, with infertility. Another thing that was difficult for me was my mother, actually. She would ask, what's wrong with you? Why don't you want to have kids, well, she you know? Wasn't, she wasn't trying to be No, hateful. no, no. She was, she just didn't understand. Yeah that yeah. she's going through a little bit mm -hmm. something different. I don't know if it was also a cultural thing too. Um, my family, my heritage is, you know, Filipino American. And of course there, it's kind of like you, you know, it's, we have big families and we have a lot of children and we get together. And I think my mother was kind of maybe trying to shield herself and maybe protect me. And I didn't realize this till later, you know, because people would always ask. That's kind of a common question in our culture. Oh, it's nice to meet you. How many kids do you have? It's kind of the first question. It's a little strange. But, you know, that came up all the time. But then it got to the point where my mother was saying, this is my youngest daughter, Mallory. She lives in Richmond and she doesn't want to have any kids. So I was really angry for a long time, wondering, like, why does it have to be the way you introduce me? That's not part of who I am. So I struggled with that. That was a big struggle.